Yeah. Right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Fulcrum Tube uh, with me, Joel. And in this episode, what we're going to be doing is talking about equipment and how to put equipment on your birds. Um, so we've got our imprint falcon here, uh, bred by Lincolnshire Falcons. If you want a real top quality falcon, guys, go out over and check them out. Um, real, real nice uh, breeder, Matt, Matt Sargent. Um, he'll take you through all the lines and all that good stuff so you know what you're buying, okay? So in this episode, we're going to cover anklets and how to put anklets on your birds without casting, okay? So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the snippet of the imprint falcon um, and actually making it as a separate video because we have a lot of requests about this on how to actually put anklets on your bird without actually casting them. So when, when you're training up a bird, as long as they're nice and steady, they should just let you be able to touch them and put equipment on um, without actually casting them up. Casting them up is fine as well, but if you, you know, it's better if you don't have to do it. So all the equipment that we're going to be used is uh, from A. Clark Falconry. Um, Ashley Clark makes these anklets. I've used them for years. They're really, really good. Um, so we're going to make this little video as a snippet. If you want to watch a full um, length video of the Imprint Falcon, I'll leave a link on the channel as well. Go over and check it out from watching this little thing grow up and become one of our main flying demonstration birds down here at Tatchell Farm Park. So if you want to come and see a fly, uh, follow the Instagram, Tatchell Falconry, and uh, come down and watch um, her demos as well. Okay, so we'll just get this video done and I hope you enjoy it guys. Cheers, thank you. Share and subscribe. You right guys, um, we're just about to get ready to put the uh, baby falcons equipment on for the first time um, and actually have a bow down on the weathering lawn with the rest of the birds to start a bit more lure training. Uh, we've kept her in a free lofted pen for about the last five or six days or so just to get her you know, used to jumping around, flapping around, she can grow up and stuff because um, she's a bit too big to be in the house now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get, uh, we've got new anklets here. Uh, these are from A. Clark Falcon. We're just gonna go put them on and hopefully get her out on the weathering lawn for the rest of the birds today. We have been going in the free lofted pen every single day, feeding her off the lure. She can eat as much as she wants, but now all she is doing is being fed off the lure as well. So it's just starting to integrate that lure training in, into her, in with her as well. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna get her out and start getting her bowed out um, and blocked out with the rest of the birds. Okay guys, so we have been still been, we have still been coming in here with her every day, getting her up on the board, doing hood training with her as well. Um, so now that check that anklet's on to make sure it fits her okay. Um, it does. Um, so the reason we've done it like this is so we don't have to cast her up or have a hood. You know, it's better for her to see everything. So we'll see if she do the other one. We might have to give it a few hours and then come back to let her settle down, but we shall try. Yes, I know. You want to kill them now, don't you? Look at that, look, aren't you mighty? Woohoo! Yeah, good catch! 